Hi, today I want to do a tutorial about the ESP32 and how to get the Blinky program from Arduino running on the ESP32. Before we start with the Arduino code, um, let's first go to the wiring. The first step is to power up your ESP32 module with a 3.3 volt and the ground. And I use my USB to UART converter because I want to display all the logging information onto my computer screen. But unfortunately, we cannot use the 3.3 volt out output of our USB to UART converter because it cannot deliver enough current for our ESP32 module. So instead we use a small voltage regulator. I used a 5 volt output from my USB to UART converter and regulate the voltage down to 3.3 volt. I used the AMS1117 3.3 but you can use all other voltage regulator. You only have to look into the data sheet and see how you can step down your input voltage down to 3.3 volt. Next step is to wire up the transmission and receive line for the UART so we can output all the logging information. So you have to wire up the receive line from the ESP32 to the transmission line and the transmission line to the receive line. Mostly the cables have to be crossed but in some cases and that's in my case the silk screen don't fit to the chip pins so I don't have to cross it. But if it don't work just play around with the cables. Next step is to pull up the enable line to 3.3 volt. I use a 1 kilo ohm resistor but you can also use up to 10 kilo ohm resistors and the reason is we have to connect the enable pin to ground if we want to reset and we don't want to short the power input. And the resistor protects us from do so because it limits the current flow. Now we can use maybe a switch to ground and in case we have to reset our ESP32. Now the important part for our Blinky, we need a LED and to limit the current to the LED I use a 220 ohm resistor and I connect the GBIO pin 13 to the resistor and the resistor to the anode from the LED and the cathode from the LED I connect to ground. In most cases the lead from the cathode is the shorter lead and if you look at the LED sometimes there is also a flat side and this flat side is the cathode. Now there's only one step we have to connect the GPIO pin 0 with a switch to ground because if we reset the ESP32 and the GPIO pin 0 is connected to ground the chip start into the flash or boot flash mode and wait for uploading the new software via UART. And after uploading don't forget to do also a reset to start the new program. Now let's have a look at our board. I start putty just to display my logging messages from UART and we can see the ESP32 is running and I do a reset just to show the difference and the ESP32 is starting up and write the welcome message. Now put the module into flash mode. So I just connect GPIO 0 to ground and do a reset. And now the ESP32 is waiting for the download of our firmware. Now let's begin with the Arduino IDE. If you want to see how to install the ESP32 core to Arduino, just watch my other video down in the info cards. So let us start the Arduino IDE and we have a look at the tool menu and we can see that we use our ESP32 development board. We set up our upload speed and our USB to UART converter is connected via DEF 
TTY USB and we can compile our sketch. It's compiled via the extensor ESP32 tool chain. And now we do an upload and it fails. But we see in our PuTTY window there are some messages. So the reason is we have to close the PuTTY window before we can upload any sketch. So close the window and we upload again and we successfully uploaded our new Blinky program. But it don't start. First we have to reset the ESP32. So we connect the reset wire to ground and now our LED is blinking. So that's a little bit boring, but now we can do some changes to our sketch. Maybe we change the blinking frequency 500 milliseconds on and 100 milliseconds off. So compile our sketch. Yes, everything is okay. Now if we try to upload the sketch, we get an error because our chip is not receiving the new download firmware. So we have first put it into flash boot mode. So first I start PuTTY just to see our output messages. But first let's put GPIO pin 0 to ground and do a reset. Now we are ready for uploading. And I close PuTTY so we get no error and we do an upload. And we successfully uploaded our sketch and do a reset again. And now we see the fast blinking LED. So maybe we can change again our sketch and do some output messages to UART. So I start introducing new variable. And now I only put some hello messages from Arduino out of the serial interface and display our position variable via print line. Now let's compile our sketch. Works fine. And bring back our device to boot and just upload the new sketch. And after uploading, we reset again and have a look to our output display. Now we can do a reset again so our Positions start at zero. So I think that's enough to begin with the ESP32. So thanks for watching today and I hope you enjoyed the video and you learned something and bye bye.